Hey guys, welcome back. And I have a question for you. If I told you that I have a pestilence build with five skill tiers, decent skill damage, while still being able to get ticks up to one million damage, and you can use in solo or group legendary, would you call me a liar? I bet you probably would. Just watch this. Hands wrap, knuckles tape black, pick my gloves up off the mat. Fighting's all I ever had. Wasn't born with tons of gifts, had to work hard as a kid. Know that everything I did was to catch the other kids. Slowly built that self esteem, turned myself to a machine. I'd compete so I'd be seen. I would lose and I'd succeed, but you'd never see me quit. I'd always get after it. Knew I had a different gift, I'd outwork any other kid. Deep within our souls, we can feel there's something. Something empty, we need something more I feel destiny, she tempts me Tells me there's two paths They both have a different ending Choose wise and you'll find That pain leads to ascending Till I'm dead and buried Deep within a cemetery I will fight, never weary I wanna be legendary Till I'm dead and buried Deep within a cemetery I will fight, never weary I wanna be legendary Place, that's all right, I don't work at a fast pace I'm a steady horse creeping up straight past it And once I pass you, no one's getting past me I see people hit walls and they stop there I don't get that my man, it sounds scared Good things take time, better prepare Cause anything great takes pain, it's a fair uh, Take it from me, cause I got to this place Where no one can tell me to do anything I call my own shots, I call my own place I enjoy my life almost every day And I can teach you if you listen to me You follow some rules, don't need gifts to be paid Persistence is better than brains any day Just listen to me and I'll show you the way our souls, we can feel there's something empty we need something more I feel destiny, she tempts me Tells me there's two paths They both have a different ending Choose wise and you'll find That pain leads to ascending Till I'm dead and buried Deep within a cemetery I will fight, never weary I wanna be legendary Till I'm dead and buried Deep within a cemetery I will fight, never weary I wanna be legendary So now that you know I am not lying to you, let's talk about this build. For starters, of course you want to use the Technician Specialization. This specialization is the go-to for skill hybrid builds, and for good reason. You get a skill tier, you get 12% extra damage to drones, proxies, and robotics, which does include Warhounds. You get 10% skill damage, and of course, you can spec into extra LMG damage. Perfect for this build. So, now moving on to the actual build itself, of course we're using the Pestilence. This, for me, is a top 3 weapon. I absolutely love this weapon, and I'm very excited to bring this build to you guys. There's a talent called Plague of the Outcast. Hits apply a debuff, dealing 100% weapon damage over 10 seconds. This stacks up to 50 times, meaning a total of 5,000% weapon damage. Whenever an enemy with this debuff dies, all stacks transfer to any enemy within 25 meters, which is a huge range. It translated to feet, that's 82 feet. For your secondary, I would recommend an AR with in sync. This is not a requirement, but especially if you are planning to solo legendary with this build, I would recommend having that. 
Moving on to the actual gear, we have the Ninja Bike Backpack. The sole reason that this build can even exist in the first place. It has th all three core attributes, I put a protection from elites mods on it, and it has a talent called Resourceful. Slots in with any equipped gear and or brand set item to fulfill a requirement towards unlocking a gear set bonus. Can unlock bonuses from multiple sets simultaneously. So with that in mind, if we go look at the mask, I only have one piece of Heartbreaker on this build, but I'm getting the two-piece brand set bonus. I'm using it for the 15% LMG damage, I have weapon damage core, skill damage, and protection from elites. The chest is Empress for 10% skill health and 10% skill damage. You can also swap this out for a piece of Hana Yu, which replaces the skill health for skill haste. Uh, it's up to you, it depends on your preference. I have skill damage, weapon handling, protection from elites mod, and glass cannon. Remember, glass cannon buffs all of your damage, so you're buffing your pestilence, the plague of the outcast talent from the pestilence, and also your skill damage by 25%. The holster is Picaro's holster. Now, this gives me 15% weapon damage, of course, and I have a skill tier and skill damage on it. Of course, from the Brazos bonus, I'm also getting 10% skill haste and an extra skill tier. The gloves are contractor's gloves. These gives me, of course, the damage to armor, and I have skill damage on them, and they are a part of the Petrov Defense brand set, so I'm getting 10% LMG damage and 10% weapon handling. Finally, for the knee pads, I am running Walker and Harris. Now, the reason I'm running this is because I get 5% weapon damage and 5% damage to armor, and I have skill damage and weapon handling on these. Now, for my skills, I went with the classic turret and drone combo. There really is the best way to run the skills for this build. And if we go look at my stats, not too much to look at here, but I do have 19% damage to armor and 46% accuracy and stability. That's about all I have to say about this build. Um, I'm sure that I'm not the first person to come up with a Pestilence skill hybrid. However, this is fresh, and as far as I know, this build is completely original. Um, I have not seen anything else like it. So yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you see the next video. I'm out. Peace. Alright. Bye, guys.